I don't know if I would label this bad. Uh, I think it's good. You know, sometimes you never see anything for a long time and then suddenly you see a bunch of them. Uh, well, that kind of happened with me. Uh, another, another old HP box. Uh, this one was $20. I couldn't pass it up. Um, I knew it would have a nice power supply in it um, for other projects. And like I said, I've learned that uh, transformers are expensive these days. So uh, get as many used transformers as you can. Start, start, start stockpiling them because everybody's gone to switching power supplies. And so it's hard to find the old linear transformers. Nobody wants them. They're big and heavy. Um, so they, they scrap them and they recycle them for metal. But uh, uh, yeah, we don't want that. We, we want the analog power supplies. Let me, uh, let me show you the front of this thing. Yes, it's another power meter. Uh, a lot of these things around. This one is a 436, so this is a fancy one. It has an LED display, no meter. I guess it does have a meter, a little bitty one over here. Um, but same thing, it's got cal factors, which are the uh, slight increment in, um, in gain for the different frequencies of the sensor. It's got an output, which is the 50, 50 megahertz reference. It's probably got the same, same circuit in it. Uh, why change that? Watts, DBM, and DB reference. Range hold, sensor zero, yeah, all the same stuff. So I think it's exactly the same as that other thing, except, uh, except it's got a uh, fancier display in it. So maybe the circuitry has been updated and, and it's more accurate. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, it's pretty crusty. Uh, you can't really see it on camera, but there's kind of grunge everywhere. Um, but uh, it'll clean up, it'll clean up fine. I'd, I'm sure it'll be a fine, fine on the inside. Let's take a look. Wow, it is much fancier on the inside. It's got uh, one, two, three, four cards in it, and it's got a uh, front panel, a front panel card. Uh, it looks like it's got that same uh, same reference calibrator, exact same one here. And look at the power supply. Ooh, the power supply is beefy. I don't know why they needed so much power on a uh, power meter, um, but it's got a really heavy duty uh, transformer in it and a huge capacitor. I love that. And uh, in complete HP style, it's way over at Engineer. One, two, three fuses on the inside and one fuse on the outside. Um, so yeah, this thing is way over engineered. This is a perfect donor chassis. Absolutely perfect donor chassis. Oh, and written on the PC board, it, our test, there's little gold, 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 of course, old HP um, test points. Minus 21, plus eight, plus 21, minus, uh, plus 15 and minus 15. It's got perfect supplies in it. This is great. Let's, uh, wow. Um, it does say bad, <laughs> so let's hope it's not the power supply. Let's hope it's something else and uh, the power supply still works. Um, I actually got this uh, off of eBay, believe it or not, uh, but it was a local place uh, just, just down the road from here, about 10 miles from here. But uh, yeah, let me find a power cord. We'll try this thing out. All right, I have the uh, power cord in the back and moment of truth. Oh, uh, we get something. Other, other numbers, uh, range hold sensor zero. There we go. Yeah, so the displays work. I bet I could hack into that. It's got some LEDs on it. Um, yeah, cool. I think it'll do something. Okay, I lost some footage there. I don't know what happened, um, but uh, I'm gonna take the cards out and show you those. Um, so, Let's, uh, well, let me, let me change the camera angle here. All right, here's a card. Looks like it's kind of the brains of the card. Uh, I don't know if they had microprocessors back then or not, but uh, this might be some fancy controller chip. This kind of looks like a control circuit board. Um, okay, the other card is the measurement card. Uh, this one has, looks, like some FET switching here. Uh, and these might be the range. There's some uh, resistive uh, dividers here. It might be range selection. Uh, looks like this might be the in input amplifier. It looks like there's guard traces and stuff around these components. This is probably the 200 hertz chopper. 
Um, there are some uh, potentiometers on this. This one's marked linearity. This one's marked uh, full scale. This one's marked zero. So uh, linear slope and offset and some other things I don't know. So that's that one. Uh, this one just is digital logic. And um, I could get some 1976, 1975, 1976, 1973, 1976. So I'd say it's 1976. Um, it has a crystal. So this, how fast is that crystal? Oh, it's only 240 kilohertz. So this is probably the uh, display controller. That'd be my guess. I'll make that a discrete logic. It's for the LED display. So this is the refresh rate for the different things. And then these are for each digit and have it scan. Uh, it has a connector here that goes to the front panel. So I think this controls the LED. You had to do a lot of work back then just to talk to LEDs. And then I have no idea what this one is. Looks like a controller card as well. Looks all digital. Another one of those weird HP specific chips. I don't know if I can find that out or not, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I love these old, love these old designs. Everything's just done with a microprocessor now and the hardware is like, eh, whatever. Back then you really had to do a lot of work. All right, let's measure some voltages. See if we have uh, all the power supply rails are working. All right, let's see here. Uh, this one is marked uh, minus 22. There you go, minus 22. This one's marked plus eight. Ah. Plus 10, even better. There's the minus, oh, this one's the minus 22. Yeah, minus 22 and plus 22. And plus 15 and minus 15, excellent, they're all working, yay. They are all working. And what a beautiful power supply it is. Um, if you can see this, let me yeah, zoom in all the way. Huge capacitor for the uh, plus 10. Uh, big capacitors for the 22s. I'm not sure about the 15s. Everything is fused, I guess, or some things are fused. At least there's three fuses here, which is amazing internal to the machine. And then of course a fuse on the back panel. So the AC is fused. So four fuses. Very cool. So, so this board is way engineered, way over engineered and uh, will be great, a great project box.